way to get the fro cut and we're gonna go find E85. We're gonna see if we can find E85 uh, here in Corpus. I believe two people have told me the same spot over here by uh, Harley Davidson. So, and it's supposed to be the only spot other than Odom, which is like 35 miles away, which I don't wanna do that. So we're gonna do that. And then we're also gonna, we're also going to go by a detailing place to see about getting window tint and maybe paint correction on the GTR. Good morning, everybody. How's it going? All right, letting the car warm up, the GTR. We are going to get a haircut today. I am tired of having this nasty mop. I'm gonna get it cut real, real short, probably shaved almost all the way off because that's what I prefer. is over there by the Harley Davidson dealership which I've had three different people tell me that there was E85 at this spot so we're gonna go ahead and check that place out the GTR is a cold start right now freaking loud we are also going to go by this place called meticulous detail which I would like to get 5% tint all around the GTR 35% tint on the windshield and then um, see about getting the Tahoe done as well. I want to get the Tahoe's window tent done. And what else? I want to see if they'll work me a deal on getting both vehicles window tent. And then also see about getting this thing uh, paint correction. Get a paint correction. I would like to get it ceramic coated. But the only problem I have is that I do have a few rock chips in the... Here, I'll show you. In the front of the car and on the side skirts, which I'm not afraid to show. I just bought this car like this. I love the way the car looks. And I'm not worried about it. But I got chips in the paint right here. Chips in the paint right here. So I wouldn't really be able to ceramic coat all that. I could probably do like everything above it. But I would like to get this fixed also. So, and then I think I have some right here. You can see that there's some fracturing in the plastic. There's some crinkling in the plastic. We got her topped off, <coughs> 35 bucks, 280 a gallon. We do have the Biscani uh, flex fuel kit, so everything should be Gucci. And 
and it should run a little bit better. But let's go ahead and haul ass over to the barber shop and then we'll go to the detailing place. It had E60, roughly E60 when, uh, when I got the vehicle, but it only had about a quarter of a tank. So I didn't really rip on it because I didn't know how bad the fuel economy was. This thing is rough in first gear, man. First gear, it's like it wants to shift a second quickly. It doesn't want to dick around in first gear. So even the, the dude, the dude who sold me the vehicle, I had talked to him and he's like, man, you got to feather first to second gear. But after that, you can get into it. And that's only when you're driving in automatic. When you're driving in freaking, uh, you know, race mode with the paddle shifters, once you're in second gear, man, this thing freaking is mean, super, super mean. And that was on 93 in tune one. There's obviously four, well, not obviously, but there's four tunes, four being the kill map, which I hadn't touched because like I said, I didn't have that much uh, E85. <clears throat> Plus, I was still learning the vehicle. And uh, I believe map one is 800 horsepower to the wheels, which is a lot of freaking power, especially for me coming from just a big old heavy diesel truck and the E92 that might, might put down 340 to the wheels, might put that down. So jumping up to 800 horsepower in an all wheel drive car, which is super, it feels really, really low to me, but it feels wide. It feels thick like it's planted, but uh, yeah, 800 horsepower off the jump. I was a little, I was a little nervous. So I didn't want to really rip on it too, too hard. But after a few times driving the vehicle in map one on 93, I was able to get after it and it felt comfortable. It didn't feel like the car was getting squirrely or nothing, but it just felt like it launched. It just straight went, you know what I'm saying? But I've yet to go on map four. I do not plan on going on map four anytime soon. Not right now. I'll work my way up to map two, then map three. Call me a bitch all you want. But this thing, one, was expensive. Two, I ain't trying to break shit. And like I said, three, I do not have a freaking trailer. So anything were to happen, I won't be able to just put it on there. I'll have to call tow trucks or tow trucks aren't going to be uh, able to get it because it's so low. I don't want to mess anything up. So just being cautious. This isn't some really crazy fast race car. This is just a, a daily driver sports car. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, we're pretty close to the barbershop. We're gonna go there and then like I said, we're gonna go to that meticulous detailing place and see what they got to say about window tinting this vehicle, window tinting the Tahoe, and then uh, paint correction this one. We definitely need to get this damn car washed because one thing that I, I hate having a dirty car, right? Now, when it rains, shit just happens, vehicles are gonna be dirty. This is my first time taking out the vehicle, it's early. I got a lot of dudes like sticking their fingers, you know, like yo know, thumbs up and all this shit to the car and the car's freaking dirty. Dirty by my standards. It's still a little bit shiny, but you can see the water spots on the damn thing. So I need to get this car cleaned up. I hate that it's dirty. And <laughs> I don't know, it just bugs the hell out of me, man. I don't like having a dirty ass view. There's just something about it, man. Even my work truck, I hate when my work truck, my work truck, the truck that's issued from, from my, my actual company, that truck, I do not like that thing being dirty. It's just, I don't know, bro. Something weird. I got, I got freaking issues, man. You know what I just realized? This car, like first gear is very like, like it doesn't wanna, it doesn't wanna be in first gear, right? To me, because I'm a truck guy, it feels like when you have a granny gear in a diesel, like the old Cummins, right? Where they had, I believe it was like a six speed or a five speed. Their first gear was a granny gear, which is a low gear because it has a lot of torque to be able to pull, right? These vehicles have a lot of torque. So it kind of makes sense as this thing would have like a granny gear because of so much, it having so much torque that it has that feel of, of like a diesel truck, like in first gear where it just wants to bog down, but it's because it has so much torque. Makes sense. Well, I don't know if, if that's actually what it is, but to me, Get my hair chopped off. 
so I could look somewhat fucking presentable and uh, go to the detailing place. Go check it out. All right, I'll be right back. <sighs> all right, <laughs> so we got all the hair chopped off. I feel like a whole different freaking person. It's been like easily five or six months since I got a haircut. We are now on the way to the detailing place, which it's freaking lunchtime, so damn it, man. The streets are going to be packed. So it's going to be a pain in the butt to get out of here because there is a big truck blocking my path. getting the windows tinted right now i scheduled monday well i'm scheduled for eight o'clock monday morning to start the two-stage paint correction and then they're going to ceramic coat it as well the paint chips on the front bumper and the little stuff on the side skirts they're not going to mess with they're going to do do the whole detailing and all stuff make the car look clean but they're just not going to do the uh, ceramic coat and all that stuff on there i'm going to go ahead and get that stuff repainted and then <clears throat> since i already paid for the whole vehicle to get ceramic coated and stuff once I'm done with the paint of the bumper and it's cured for like 60 to 90 days, then, then I can bring the vehicle back and they're going to go ahead and ceramic coat it with no extra charge simply because I already paid for the whole thing. Uh, but like I said, I'm going to go ahead and get the window tint right now since I'm here. That way that they don't have to keep the car overnight on Monday. Uh, I'm going to get 5% all the way around with ceramic tint and then I'm going to get 30% on the windshield. So let's see how that shit looks hoping it's gonna get really really dark because as of right now it's pretty transparent see as of right now you can see through the vehicle pretty easy but we'll see what it looks like after this though I definitely have to use my brights now with this windshield <laughs> uh, because back where I live there's obviously you can tell there are zero street lights and it's only house lights out here in the country so this shit is no crap dark
Get my fat ass off this side. <laughs> we need a bigger house, boy. <laughs> <sighs> How's it look? Good. Pretty black? Yeah. Winter looks good, huh? I walked that way. I forgot about my reflection. Your reflection? Oh. It's alright. Do you want to do your windshield? Mm. I, th I think you need to because look, that one's 30%, this one's 35%. But this one's just all nasty. The both of them look brown and black. What the fuck was on there? Bird shit? Awesome. <laughs> Go figure, right? Okay. They're jamming out or what? All right, so all in all, I'm happy with the way the GTR came out. Look how freaking dark that shit is. It's 30% ceramic on the front, 5% on the side windows, and it is freaking dark, man. And I have all the lights on here inside the garage. And my wife said that you couldn't even see me inside there, which she might be exaggerating. I'll have to check the GoPro footage to see if, if she's uh, just BSing me. But look how, look how dark the, the side windows are. <sighs> I love it, man. So shout out to Immaculate Detailing. Like I said, Monday, well, tomorrow, Friday, maybe Friday night, because tomorrow's Thursday. Friday night, we'll go detail the car. I'm gonna take the wheels off, get them all cleaned up. And then, like I said, Monday, they're gonna detail the crap out of the car. They're gonna do the uh, two stage or stage two, whatever paint correction. And then they're gonna ceramic coat the whole thing, except for the front bumper. Because like I said, I have those chips on the front bumper. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get that thing painted. And if not, then I'm just gonna do like the whole top piece and then leave that bottom piece not ceramic coated. But um, I mean, it kind of is what it is. It's no biggie. The rest of the car is gonna be showroom. It's supposed to be car show quality ceramic coat. So we'll see how that goes, but freaking sick. And it was a pain in the ass to drive home at night, especially in the back roads where I live, man. You guys all take care. I appreciate everybody coming through. Make sure to subscribe. I do have the merch coming, which is mainly for myself. But if you want a shirt, if you like what they look like, Hit me up on IG and uh, we'll get to talking, man. I appreciate everybody. Take care.